there was a, uh, a very interesting photo I thought the other day that had come out. Uh, it was a picture of Diddy uh, in the park uh, in uh, in uh, New York City, just kind of sitting there watching people, you know, enjoying their time in that big green area. Uh, people sitting there uh, in blankets, picnicking, talking. He apparently didn't look like he was getting a whole lot of attention, but you just it was kind of a stark image of Diddy in kind of his final moments, I think, of freedom. I think he realized, like, this is it. This is the city he, you know, kind of once ruled to a certain sense uh, in yeah. uh, the music world, and this yep. is now the city where it's all going to end as well. It yep. was like just kind of a moment for him, I thought, of knowing that it's all all crashing down. With that being said, Diddy has a lot of friends. Uh, Diddy had tons of parties. Diddy was, you know, once, you know, the, the white parties were infamous years ago. Uh, yep. It was a who's who that are going to these sort of things. And those weren't necessarily the freak offs, at least the parts that we had heard about. But he had he was very connected. Um, I, I And it's interesting right now. There's not a lot of celebrities that are tight with him that are saying much. Uh, not many statements coming out. We And I find that an interesting contrast compared to when Weinstein went down. Uh, there was a lot of celebrities speaking up that had been involved with him. All it is deploring his behavior. Uh, coming out, sharing their stories. There's a lot of people being very quiet right now. What do you think that tells us about other people who may have knowledge of what he was doing or maybe had even participated in what he was doing? Yeah, I, well, I think that uh, the reality and the difference between Weinstein and Diddy is that Weinstein was just a predator, straight predator, whereas... Diddy's a predator, but in a different way. And it was done in a party setting mm -hmm. wherein you have a lot of people that have a lot of money and people that have a lot of money do weird shit. Mm -hmm. That's just, that's facts. There's yeah. going to be like, just look at people that like the idle mind is the devil's playground, bro. When you have that kind of money, that the stress part of, of life is over. Right. Like like you and I trying to hustle and the, the yep. way we bust our asses to do this thing. Sure. It, you know, if if we hit it big and, and we get a, a hundred million dollar contract, we're we're done worrying. Now multiply that by a bunch and you've got Diddy type money. Yeah. And he's just he's just rubbing shoulders with people with huge amounts of wealth that just live very different lives than the rest of us. Mm -hmm. And so when this shit goes down, you better believe that there are people that have information on tapes, on calls, on video that do not want this shit coming out. Mm -hmm. Like when this shit starts coming out, when, when, <laughs> you know, and, and I don't know if it's going to be individuals. Like, I, like, I don't know who was coming to the freak offs. I'm sure he had homies there with him. I'm sure it was not just Diddy sitting there. Yeah. I'm sure that this was like, you know, I mean, he, 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 you can call it a freak off, like kind of an orgy is what it sounds like to me, yeah. like harem style shit. Yeah. And it, it like, there are a lot of nervous people out there. Yeah. I imagine. And that, and then not from the criminal sense per se, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, if he's the one putting it together and orchestrating it and paying for it and intimidating people and, and people reaped the benefits yeah. Yeah. <laughs> of that, of his, of his nefariousness, does it, does it soil their reputation? Absolutely. Yeah. That's the price they're going to pay. Does it necessarily make them complicit? No, mm -hmm. but I think what is ultimately going to end up happening, the way that the feds operate generally, like if you look at this in the context of like, say a drug case, okay, they're going after kingpins. They want the big fish. They don't give a shit about lower ranking people. They use lower ranking people to climb up the rung. Mm -hmm. So they'll, they'll get somebody in, they'll bust a low, like a low level person in order to squeeze that person, get them to cooperate Say, all right, this is what we're going to do for you. This is what you have to do for us in order for that to happen for you. And they squeeze and they start climbing up the chain. They say, okay, like, who's your dude? Who is your guy? Who's the guy giving you the, the instructions? And then they'll climb up that level 
they'll get that guy. Then they squeeze that guy because there's a guy above that guy, you know, especially when you're talking about cartels and organized crime type deals. So yeah. it's going to be the same thing here. Like, yeah. th- like Diddy had minions, yeah. you know, Diddy had people that were doing his bidding. Like they are going to try to continue to extract information from these people. And if it turns out that some of these people are well known, you know, those people are going to have, a lot of incentive to to turn state mm-hmm. to flip you know on diddy and and like at this point who's going to have loyalty to diddy yeah you know i mean that this isn't this isn't the sopranos mm-hmm. this isn't like family this is bl- you know this is the blood oath it, this ain't that mm-hmm. like people are going to turn on that dude if it's going to save their own skins in the, in the blink of an eye. Yeah. So like I said, I, I will, I will not be at all shocked that, that there's going to be superseding indictments, meaning they're going to add additional charges to this thing. And they're just getting. Hey, thanks for checking out the video. Be sure to follow us wherever you download podcasts and especially Apple podcasts, where you can get advanced episode and premium content on our premium channel right there. Also, be sure to follow us on social media so you don't miss any breaking updates on the stories that matter to you most. We're on TikTok, X, Instagram, Facebook. Just search Hidden Killers Podcast with Tony Bruschi, and you'll find us right there. Again, thanks for watching.